Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mucklover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hoi 4 Old Road Blues, playing as that Daddy Washington Brotherhood. I don't know why I said it like that, whatever. Uh, cool. Anyways, um, yeah, we're doing pretty darn well, and we are expanding pretty quickly into Big Mama Mesmeralda, in which I think we're just straight up having a good time. We might have gotten encircled a little bit here, but things happen, you know, things happen. And, but we're breaking out anyway. It doesn't matter. The Great Alaskan Expedition, though, is ready to go. A group of our most valiant soldiers, led by the immortal himself, has set out in the cruel, frozen mountains of a land once known as Alaska. Whatever they may find there will surely help us bring order to the wastes and eradicate the remaining mutants. So, a couple comments that I want to get to and address. First of all, uh, someone pointed out yesterday that I'm using or making both gliders and close air support. As of late, I've been doing that more and more just because the AI the AI has been building more and more fighters which disrupt my close air support, which I really don't like. So, to combat that, I decided to use more and more fighters. Um, and honestly, these fighters also get some ground attack, so they're actually pretty useful, which is very, very nice. Also, let's see. Yes, I do understand, as someone pointed out yesterday, that not all of my power armor teams are the exact same. I have two templates here, the PA companies and the PA company twos. Uh, I know, I would like to create all my companies, all my divisions, my power armor divisions as company twos because I think they're better overall. You guys are really going to get cut off here. That ain't bueno, man. That definitely ain't bueno. Send one guy here to help just smash that way. And we've taken the capital, the temple of the Gorgons. And now we need Cockatus, which would be a great thing. Come on, guys, keep smashing. Smash, smash, smash. Smashing all the way. Thank you very much. We'll cut him off. Hey! Yeah, we've already started doing that. Nice. Vault City to clear one pale folk. Nice. New arena's looking pretty thick. So there's that. And also, I asked you guys yesterday. Yeah, so there goes the pale... The marrow drinkers. Oh, that means more things we've got to garrison. Hmm. Oh, well. Whatever. We'll focus on them and get more command power. Command power? Political power. I don't know. Cool. Uh, I asked you guys yesterday. When, what should we call our power armor armies. Well, really, I like this, obviously. Uh, we can't do that. Let's see. Let's see if we can just switch you guys. Black Paladins. Can you switch? No, you can't. That's really unfortunate. Uh, we're just going to call this ar the entire army group Steel Fist. Steel Fists? That's actually not too bad. Steel Fists. And then Army Group 3. Um, I don't know. Steel Finger. I don't know. Something like that. Let me know in the comments below if I should change up this name. Steel Finger isn't too bad. I mean, usually a fist has at least one finger. You, you know, the most fists I've seen have at least one finger, so I'm going to call it Steel Finger. Uh, cool. We can take out those guys. But since we've done the event, I do want to go towards Bellingham next. We do have the Timberline under us, which is quite quite nice. <sighs> Does she have war goals against the Heideken Federal? Okay, at least that's... I was thinking why we needed to know that, but uh, I guess I see why. Cool. All right, then. Put you all right there. That's very bueno. If you need to train, go right ahead. We're going to need to spend some time justifying on these folks. These fine, fine folks. We might need to focus on maybe two. Maybe. We'll see what happens. So, we're going to do it like this. One, two, three. There you go. And make it five. Crazy horns and yinta. Very cool. One, two. Right there. And then Portland Overseers and Portland Ghosts. Ooh, nice warrior code. I love it. And then y'all do that next. Oh, we're going to come down here. And Principal. Combine arms. More Less recruitable population factor as well as better recovery rate. More soft attack, more hard attack, and more organization is muy bueno. Wow, that looks really bad. That looks really, really bad. Not going to lie. Mm. I don't like that. But that's okay. I love that we port, port, port Maw here. I can't speak. I'm sorry. This is literally the... What is it? At the time of this recording. This is the third video I'm recording today. So apparently I can't speak. After two cups of coffee and some buttermint tea. Yum yum. Uh, let's see. So, we train you guys. If you guys need... No, you don't need training. You guys are good enough. Look at that naval XP. Wow, we need a lot of infantry armor. If that's... Ooh, did I really get... I really got rid of my militia divisions. Wow, I am Dumbo. Why did I do that? There you go. I am the big dumb. Mm. That's fine for now. It's going to cost us a little bit more to put people down, so be it. It's going to cost us a lot of guns, but it'll help out with infantry. 
And we have enough guns to deal with it anyway, so. Wowzers. Now, if we still don't have enough. Alright, there's. There you go. We'll switch this up around later on. Uh, training program, that'll come in handy. That definitely comes in handy right now. Uh, what else do we want? That'd be good. Uh, specialized. Yeah, we're using power armor. We might as well get that. Oh, uh, yeah. 1.79 a day. Not bad. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I guess I'll read this. You serve the immortal now. So, buried amongst the rigid crags of Denali lies a facility whose bulkhead has been frozen over time. Its halls are coated in a thin layer of ice, save for one room where a nuclear generator the size of Blue Whale roars without witness. Anchorage Reserve Base 12, a lonely place. The immortal had feverishly chased the sleeve of an old world ghost in Seattle. He found its name. Their expedition set out immediately, planning to go farther north than any member of the chapter had ever ventured before, even if he had to cast everyone else aside in that frozen place to achieve his goal, the Immortal was willing to do it. His brilliant prize was finally within his grasp. When their expedition force saw the mountain on the horizon, they could feel their blood boil with anticipation. Everything had led up to this point, chipping away at the ice and fallen rocks covering that unmarked vault door. The Brotherhood couldn't have imagined what awaited them inside. Even the Immortal only knew scraps. A utilitarian entrance. Ice as far as I could see, and corridors filled with silence. The only sound in that place was power armor servo sighing softly. There was a single light in that dark hallway. As they approached it, their breath caught in their throats. As they looked through the window, it was coming from. Ghastly blue that illuminated, uh, light illuminated from their worn armor, cast by hundreds of cryogenic sarcophagi, and rows upon rows. The truth would come to light in the hours after the mortal enabled the activation process. These men had been placed here soon before the world ended as a precautionary measure against a hypothetical I can't say that word right now. My apologies. Attack against U.S. forces in Alaska. Deliberating. Uh, during such an event, they would be s awoken remotely with orders to, s to secure Anchorage. I can't speak. I'm sorry. But their assignment was long redundant, and they knew that the moment they laid eyes upon the rescuers, the immortal addressed the hundreds of vulnerable soldiers before him with bravado, his voice filled with pride. For him, this was the cr crowning achievement of his life. Men of the 75th, your regiment is disbanded as of today. You are no longer U.S. Army soldiers. You are part of the only organization who can save America. Welcome to the Brotherhood of Seal. Very awesome. And I apologize, I couldn't speak very well right there. Woo! You serve the immortal now. And you know what, to feel better about ourselves? Ah, uh, I love it. Cool, who do we get? Oh, we got five divisions. The first, second, to, first to fifth to platoons, huh? Wow, they're... Oh, mm, 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 mm. Mm, I like these guys. I really do. But, um... Yeah, I'm sorry, man. As much as I love y'all, I just... I don't want to deal with that template. I really don't. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with the template, man. Oh, Vault City's looking kind of scraggly, and the new arena's looking kind of thick. And we have Aerial Operations. Very good. Next up, Staging Bases, Disguise... Fighter Production wouldn't be too bad. Anything here? We get more resources. We can wait. We get some factories down there. I kind of like that. Uh, that takes so long to get down to, though. Let's just do this. New initiates. So, we're more than just a military organization. The Brotherhood is one a large family. Or Our knights, paladins, and scribes are all free to pursue relationships, marry, and have children. This is how the Brotherhood survives. When these children come of age, they become initiates and start their training for their respective discipline. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, radar. Uh, that's way too ahead of time. Over here. More popping out goodies. Please, and thank you. Wow, we really need more infantry armor, which which is coming along nicely. We will start coring more stuff. Oh, look, the mall actually changed colors. Okay, so they were like that reddish color for a while. Now they've changed to a more appropriate color. The Northern League is looking pretty awesome. Oh, well, that's why. I was on the faction map mode. Duh. What's wrong with me? I have no idea. I'm just me. Cool. Oh, my goodness. This is going to take forever to try to core stuff around here. We can core this piece of garbage land, but it's not really worth it. Uh, I really want to get down here, so if we snake our way from here to here, that wouldn't be too bad to get down to the Temple of the Gorgons, also formerly known as the Troll Warren Place, or Place of the Troll Warren, or however you want to pronounce it. Ooh, very good job, guys. Complicated circuitry? Complicated. Wow, I'm... I need to go to sleep. Woo! Anyways, let's restore the Satsop. Uh, maybe Nasui? I'm looking for anything for... Oh, there we go. Uh, arms Workshop. Joint Base Lewis McCord. Sure thing, brother. Sure thing. Some anti-tank rifles. Uh, we're going to need those eventually. We might as well put them on for now. 
thank Yahoo. Thank you. Very good, very good. And make sure we're building up enough of this stuff. So let's go up to there. Very good. And what are we building? Civilian factories, that's kind of nice. That's actually very, very nice. Anything here? Economic advisor, that's a waste of time. Major businesses, what about pre-war designs? What can we build? Hey, I'm going to war with Cooper Dam. Cooper Dam? Mm, just those guys up north. Block read schematics, that doesn't look too bad. But I do want to save stuff for other stuff. Recon. Well, division, some of our divisions do use recon. Recovery rate, experience soldiers lost wouldn't be bad. I like I like the night Boston dude. Uh, we're pretty much good to go. We pretty much are. And do we have any planes here? Yes, we do. Hang out. Ah, uh, Capitol Hill. I love our little autonomous zone up here. I do that. You really don't have a lot of range, do you? Hmm. Get him on the line first. And we can't core that piece of territory yet. I'd rather core something else then. Maybe around here? No. Okay. 4,000. Anything here? 6,000. 6,000. I mean, let's core this one just because it's a little farther away. That's not terrible. It's not great. But it is what it is. Cool. Oh, wait. Hold on. I need one of you guys. Right there. Very good. Very good. How long would it take for us to go to war with Camlo? I can't imagine that'd be too strong. There you go. And we have new initiates. In which we get 100 manpower. Next up, we shall do T45D production. This is the first model of power armor produced by America, and it shows a simple frame, lackluster servos, exposed weak points, and a less than impressive helmet design. Still, any power armor is better than none, and its simplicity makes it faster to fix and produce. Yes. The dude's not over there yet, but he's almost there. Do we have any more room for close air support? Yes. Any more room for gliders? Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Good enough to 100. Thank you. And now we have combined arms. God, I love old Roblox. It goes by so fast. Champions of Virtue. Very nice. More training time. Better supply grace. Just power armor. Gets so many buffs. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys here for this. I'm going to put you guys here too. Yes. Very good. Oh, cool. You guys can come up there. And three, two. Good enough for me. New Vegas. Play War New Vegas. I love a New Vegas War. Uh, sure, we can call in our allies. That's fine. They're attacking us here. I figured they would. I figured they'd attack us here because we're pretty weak over there, too. So that's kind of kind of fine with me. Let them waste... Oh, wow. They've already wasted themselves on us. Well, let's wait a little bit. They might invade us because there's a high confederation. But you never know. Port Mall might send out a billion destroyers from them. You never know. And now for... You're on out. I'm going to at least send... Or spend one of our research slots on naval stuff. We really need to start... Focusing on that a little bit more. Losses. Two versus 306. Not bad. Not bad. Backyard workshops. Cool. Thank you. That's actually a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab that then. 72 days. That's not too bad. Sales are very nice things to have. Three. Come on. Please attack me one more time. Please make my day. Come on. Someone. Someone over here. Come on. Oh, boy. Not over here. Over here. I want my power armor to be strong. I should have attacked then as soon as they stopped attacking me. Oh, that's actually pretty good. 1,500? We need 170, though. 3, 2, 1. We're going to let you guys attack. We're going to let pretty much all the infantry attack as well. The good and the bad infantry. By good, I mean ours. The bad, I mean our puppets. So. I'll probably straight up annex these guys as well. Hey, thank you. New Vegas' is downfall. Vegas survived the Great War, but not against Vegas itself. Oh, wait. Am I right, Jason? Uh, that's fine. They can raise their autonomy for now. Specialized Warfare, very cool. Let's get some more power armor. And Vegas is fighting Vegas. So, Mr. House is leading Vegas. But then, Mr. King, the King, is leading the other Vegas. Vegas has a lot of problems, man. Uh, T-55D production, and let us do T-51B production. The pinnacle of pre-war power armor design, the T-51B model. It's a favorite among the Brotherhood of Steel for its robust design, shaped ceramic armor, lack of clear weak points, and expertly crafted helmeted bolters. Although harder to maintain and produce, there's no doubt that the T-51B is superior to T-45D in every way. Now, I know casualties are slowly increasing, but you know what? We killed off a thousand. We got a little bit of focus fire. I'm going to send actually two to do this at a time. So a little bit ahead of time, that's fine. Since we do have to fight the Hyde Confederation, probably, so. That'll be alright. You guys are not winning here, which kind of cause of concern for me. I mean, the Brotherhood Power Armor, I mean, we're doing great with that. Look at that. Yay, 8,000. 
And we have less resistance, and we get more resources to be used to. Always great. And New Vegas has killed itself. Good job, guys. Good job. We're doing very well in infantry armor. We can probably switch a few things around here. Wow, that's a lot of marrow drinkers. Wow. Wow. Switch those around. Oh, man, they're literally just sitting here to die. I love it. I'd definitely help them out here. Definitely help them out here. Nice. Yeah, we actually made our own divisions finally again. We got refined tools. Very good. God, I love how fast this is. Uh, yeah, irrigation, you know. Very nice. Uh, do we have upgrades for our dudes? George Posey? Nerd Rage. Uh, I don't want to use that. That's fine, you get some Nerd Rage. Anyone here? No? Okay, that's okay. Bellingham is ours! We may have Capitol Hill, the Autonomous Zone, but now we have the next great thing, Bellingham. After them, then Camlo. Man, uh, getting to Cooper might be a little difficult. That's okay, though. You're going straight for Cooper. Nice. Sail navigation is very good. Schooner holes are going to be next as well. Good. Put a lot of pressure on them. They, we lost 130, which isn't really that bad at all. They suffered 3,200 casualties, which is delightful. I thought I told you guys to go up that way, man. There you go. They have one guy in there, but hopefully they can't hurt you too much. Devout operative captured. Well, good. We have ways of making him talk and alarming trends. Watch these agitators. It's nothing. Uh, I need to save my political power, so be it. We can always put him down a little further down the line. There you go. You ain't gonna rebel against me, Port Maw. We love you too much. And there goes Bellingham. Thank you! And there goes some more manpower. Alright, so you guys do this. And then you guys, we're gonna come right here. And you go straight up. Star Paladin Rodriguez, a great general. We already have Bloody Mess, give me 5% more attack. Mysterious Stranger and Bloody Mess. I've never done that before and I love it. Uh, you guys come here. Beautiful. You know what? Boom. There we go. Cool. We'll go to war very, very soon. Let's get our guys on the line. And we have some uh, power armor blueprints. Combine operations for more planning speed and max planning. Learning to fight alongside former wastelanders can be difficult. They're wild, or they are wild. Survivalist method style of combat. Or no, that's the correct form of there. My bad. I'm, I'm crazy. Uh, combat can be often hectic and unpredictable. This is precisely why recruiting them can be so valuable, and why fitting them into our command structure is so beneficial. That wild, unpredictable nature only makes our squads more effective than before. Very good. It's always nice to compliment people, even sometimes when they don't deserve it. To make them feel good, right? Good. Cool. And that's why you send out those squads first, so they might get gunned down first. So, they can, so that way you can uh, not take the bullet for them. Hey, look. You're, that was right on the border. We could probably core Bellingham next, 288, but then again, we'd probably core this way down first. So that takes 153, but you know what? It takes time to get some compliance. That's okay with me. We need to go to war by when? 24th. Oh, man. Is that wrong, dude? Uh, mountain. 24th of April? May. March. March. Yeah, one of those months. They're all months to me. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Three, two. I don't want to wait any longer. I could have brought him to the Northern League, huh? they really not want to fight me? Okay. Ah, the defense is online. Extremely good work. Give a free round at the bar to the team once they're back. Absolutely. And let's do Restore Naval Magazine Indian Island. Thank you. Get a whole one infrastructure. Ah, slavery. Ah, do it if you want to help out, sure. So that's going to be a little bit ahead of time. I'm going to go ahead and start doing some of this stuff. Long range optics. Good. I'm actually going to have you guys come, all all of you guys come right here. I'm going to actually stop you guys from doing that. I'm going to double double this, and you guys do that one, and then make a break for it. You guys should be moving up, right? Um, well, screw it, whatever. Just I'll come that way then. Just because I want to cut all these guys off. Camlo. And then after that, I'm going to save the Broken Ghost. Let's go to war with Whistler then. Oh, why does it cost, cost me so much political power? A whole 12 political power, that's so much. 
Not really, but so much. Champions of Virtue, nice. We are now done with the land auction. I love it. Get some robots, maybe. Support equipment. Demo teams. Support equipment reliability. I'm gonna go volatile explosives. Those sound like fun. I love explosives. Heavy troop and mountaineering tactics. Cool. Let's grab some special forces expansion. Ooh, organized slavery. We can go to rely on slaves. We get less stability. Deposit slavers. Hmm. Hmm. I've never done this before. Rely on slaves. I wonder if we get more like slave negative modifiers, maybe? We might. Send happy guys that way. And send one of you guys just to the capital. Irrigation. Love it. Irrigation. Love it. Make sure we got enough command command power. Energy. We must make sure we have enough energy here. Combine operations. Very good. And let us do what next? Technological study? Sure, why not? So, re replicating the electronics of the pre-war is a difficult task, even for the simplest of the designs. If we want to have any hope of reliably recreating somewhat advanced designs, we need to dissect our precious few working pre-war models and examine their inner workings. It's painful, but unless we can figure out the secret behind these things, we'll forever be in the dark. Absolutely. Cool, Jesmond. I've never heard that name before. I've heard of Desmond, but just not Jesmond. Keep one dude, th them ghosts. Keep them down and pressure those enemies down there. How many men have we lost? Scorpions bite with their dogs. They've lost 2,000. I've lost about 150. Not bad. Schooner holes. I like schooner holes. And we're going to actually start maximizing this out as fast as possible because it's I'm trying to research naval techs ahead of time. Not really worth it at all. Night person, local leader. You know what? I want to go. I want to do local leader. Because I'm still debating in my head whether I should convert these guys to APCs. Maybe I should just use motorized infantry. Probably not. But maybe APCs. Let me know in the comments below. Should I, should I convert my infantry to APCs? I, I mean, I always love doing that just because I love APCs. they the big, strong vehicle boys. But, uh, hmm. Should I? Should I not? Let me know in the comments. Are APCs worth it for me? For the Washington Brotherhood? For our autonomous zone? They might be. Let me know in the comments below. Look at that manpower. Lovely. How much, uh, do we have of this? 855? Still losing more and more and more. Yeah, I can't switch it over here yet. Take down some riders. Nice. Very good, my friends. No longer get additional support. That's fine. Oh my goodness. Why do you keep moving the goalpost away so far? Hey, we made our own divisions. Nice. Thank you. The more the enemies take, the better for us. Man, that's a nice brotherhood. That's really nice. Oh, it's so beautiful. New Canaan's pretty thick. Legion's kind of hanging out. Well, their dogs are looking pretty good. As well as, oh wait, no, the Undying Outcasts are still there, they just can't get, okay, is that a, that's not a glitch, no, you can still, they can, these guys can still get there, which really sucks, but, huh, that's interesting. I thought they capitulated, but they did not, they have not. So where are the areas of conduct between me and these guys? Nowhere? Ah, uh, yeah, they, we do have a little bit of a, a waterway right there. Put you guys there, I'm going to put all of you guys right here. I'm going to leave you guys there. I'm going to take my infantry, my own infantry, you guys come there, you guys come there, and then you guys come there. Thank you. Long range optics. Even better optics. Good. Hey, just in time. Very good. And we're producing a ton of equipment. Probably honestly use a little bit more infantry armor for where we're going. We're going to need it. Maybe a few more guns, too. Guns are nice. Good. Can't change that really too much. You guys definitely need something more like that. Maybe some of that. Anti-tank. Yeah, you must have thrown some of that on there too. Fire teams, power armor, dog. I like to throw dogs too. Are we have do we have any dogs? I, I love dogs a lot. I don't have any dogs, but oh, I love the war doggos. The first time I ever had used war doggos was what was in Rome Total War when I was a kid. Man. Man, those war hounds. Mmm, I love it. Come on, guys, get over here. Ooh. What do you got? Gunslinger. Ah, eh, get Mysterious Stranger. Volatile explosives? Awesome. Just a little bit ahead of time. Anything else? Yes. So we need more anti tank and more dogs, which makes sense. Cool. Do that too. Any better ships? Yes, goodbye. Um, we could make these. I just. It's gonna wait, though. 
Hide Confederation, Broken Coast, you know, whatever. Actually, we take a Broken Coast. We can just go straight to the Hide Confederation. That'd be pretty nice. Cool, let's go to war. Uh, something tells me they probably don't have too much of a fight. Too much they can fight me with. So, scribe research. Pushing our scribes towards a longer research project will inevitably reward us. Prioritizing long-term study and self-reflection should make our results more accurate, and having scribes accompany scouting squads should make them much more capable of investigating pre-war sites. Scribes are the backbone of the Brotherhood. We must continue to hone their skills. Hey, look at that. Can I do this? Yep. No, I cannot. But very soon, and then come down there. Up, very nice, very nice. You know what? Since we have the political power, we're gonna go to war with the Dredgers next. Not the Broken Coast, because I don't see what they're gonna do. Ooh, look at that, that's very nice. Big ol' hole is right there. Let's see. This is my own infantry, so we gotta be careful with these guys. And we'll wait for the rest. Dude, just come on up here. Signal flags, very good. We can put those on our ships already. That's why I'm taking so long to build up a navy. Nice. We set up to Manson's Land. We should have it done pretty soon. These guys are all veterans. I love it. Nice. We can change him. Can I change you? Oh, we can, my friends. Thank you, Alaska Regiment. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for playing. I never use support, power armor support equipment. It's really just not worth it. It's never worth it throwing this on because it lowers your organization. It's better because it and also uses special forces capacity. And it's like, eh, why, why would you do it? Why? So we're throwing your next, and we've been cut off. How typical. Cool. You guys having a good time? You guys hurting? Actually, a little bit. Or just hold. Or did you have? Oh, you guys are going up there. Okay. Select all hold, do that. We'll be at war soon enough. Not really too worried about it. Cool. Having a good time. Oh, you guys need to go crazy, man. What are you doing? You gotta go nuts. Eh, there we go. Now we can get a war if we want to, but we gotta wait. Oh, are we missing some stuff? Yeah, we missed some stuff. That's okay. Optic filters, very nice. Radar arrays. Help them out. Help them get up there. Good. Part standardization. Let's get through some more of this even more quickly. They should capitulate after we take Silver Throne. Silver Throne. There you go. I called it. And we have Scribe Research. You guys are over there. You guys are down here, but you should really probably be up here, really. So I really don't like the dredgers because it takes so long to take them out. Let's let you guys do that first. Let's grab some old developments. So pre-war technology is inherently valuable, even if it's broken in only pure scrap. Scouring pre-war ruins for undiscovered rare technology, whether broken or somewhat working, is an important part of the Brotherhood's operations in the Wasteland. Oh, look at that political power. I could raise my conscription level. That might be a smart thing to do. But now nah, we get... Oh, the Victorian chapter. Oh. They go towards the Brotherhood, I see, huh? Thank you! It really wasn't worth coring that, but I didn't want to get down here, and that's going to cost so much political power. Uh, I could use you guys as well, but eh. There you go. Get ready for an unholy war, and go right ahead. We're going to need more infantry armor and dogs. We really are. This is a bad idea to do now, but we'll do it anyways, because I like it. And now we're way out of dogs. Yep. You guys can do that first, that's fine. There you go. Problem solved. Solved. Right? Now you guys are struggling a little bit. Defenses are online. Naval technology. I like that. Light signals. We can use that immediately. Slave time. Slave time. Radio communications. Very nice. Purebred mutts. Yes, yes. Uh, grab some more of that, that'll help out. Losses thus far, zero. We'll have a few here and there. I'm not going to switch this out yet, just because we need to make more and more and more, which makes sense. Prince George, thank you.
What the heck? No, stay there. You guys are right there, huh? Sacker for new Klamath? I don't remember doing that, but okay. Cool. She, you, 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 you. And you. Oh, I haven't even done any of this yet. Or not really that much of it. Not bad. Not bad. Factories, not looking too bad. I, I know I'm struggling here quite a bit, but that's totally fine just because this is not my manpower. It does weaken Port Maw a little bit, but uh, I don't know. That's okay in my mind. I just want to make sure we can take everything first around here because it just takes so ungodly long to conquer all this territory. So I really don't mind struggling a little bit here. You know, old, old developments? Very nice. And let's grab robotic advancements. Robots or robotics? was one of America's largest industries before the Great War, and it was considered a world leader in the field of robotics. As a result of this, the wasteland is scattered with the shells of broken robots, as well as the ro roaming figures of those still following updated programming. Taking both apart will aid us in rebuilding robots for our own ends. Good. And we will push through soon enough. Eh, radar array is very good. It's a little bit ahead of time, but that's totally fine with me. Let everyone take all the stuff out first. That's good. Using up our naval XP as fast as possible. As soon as they start moving, I'm going to launch these guys in, into an attack. You know what? That's okay. Go ahead. And... They've been cut off. Kind of. Kind of. The Siege of Hidden Valley. Very good. Even though we don't like it when... Potential allies could be taken out, but that's okay. Well, whatever. They don't care that much about them. Take the little poor. Oh, they've been cut off. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, we got them. We, uh, did we, we didn't even take the capital, did we? Oh, that's nice. Oh, they're fighting so many people. Oh, that's really good. That's really nice, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Put everyone on the line here. Thank you. Happies. Bop. 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 There you go. Next up, we will grab that. Nice. We should be able to beat them up. They probably don't have a... They don't have that many cores in Yeah, they have no cores over there, which is very good. And power, we're going to keep an eye on that. Let's rebuild Fairfield. Fairchild Air Force Base. Yes. Next one's on fire. We're missing a few doggos. That only makes sense. Infantry armor... Not bad. There you go. Now we need even probably more doggos. That's going down. That's good. Cool. Oh, yeah. Even though this is a bad idea, I'm tired of looking at that. So, there you go. Even better doggos. Do we have any more planes? That's always a good question to ask. Oh, my goodness, we do. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I think we can stop focusing so hard on, on uh, fighters. So, there you go. Put all of you three right uh, there. Except for you. You come right there. Thank you. Come again. Uh, we can probably go down to three for now. That'd be fine. Stim packs. I love stim packs. Oh, oh, that's a little bit of two at a time. Grab some more breakthrough. That's better. How long will it take for us to go to war? Not too long. Less than two months. And in Old World Blues, it, not that long. So, High Chapel is having a good time with the Shoshone Nation. Bunker mindset? Sure, why not? Almost all members of the Brotherhood were born into a bunker, and most of us spent our lives growing up in and around them. For us, the safety of a bunker is reassuring and comforting. As a result, Brotherhood fortifications are built to a higher standard than most others due to our familiarity with reinforced structures. Good. Advanced radar rays. Very good. This is very ahead of time, by 134 days, which actually isn't bad at all. And... Boom. Actually, yeah, I'll just keep that. If you if you use XP to research stuff, but then you take it off, you don't get the XP back, so... There's really no point to not do it at that point. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Is it... Uh, it's slave time! Yay! We have 846 slaves. We get 20 a month. Come on, slaves, reproduce! Oh, you're fighting the Victorian chapter, too. Um... I want the Broken Ghost to actually beat the Victorian chapter, because that means I have to literally navally invade them, and that takes too long. That's not a lot of fun. Uh, oh, look, you're a little totem pole. The Haida Council. Uh, that's not bad, either. We'll do that. Well, good luck, guys. 
So we're building up Factorinos. Not bad. We want to make sure that these guys don't get too rebellious. We do want to annex them a little later on. Not yet, though. Good, good. Pretty good. We've got plenty of deg degrades. Grenades. That's okay. Get some uh, manufacturing for iron. It is 2280, my friends. That's a good year. That's a good year. Infantry equipment. Or arm infantry armor. Oh, is it all riding now? Oh, good. Nice. Never enough manpower. But this could be so much worse. Contest Legion. Nice. Not bad. Become very violent down there. Do your violent deeds. Battlefield hierarchy. Very, very good. How much longer? Do we, if we have more than a month, I will let them train. Oh, we got five days. Oh, Broken Coast. You had a chance. Oh, I need to play these guys someday. Ragnar, huh? And... Come on. Wait. Oh, they... Oh. That was my bad. You know what? Uh, what state is not under control? Because I was ready to go to war. You know what? This is not under their control. It might be eventually. Uh, I'm going to say Skagway. I wanted to go to war, but you know, they said no. Skagway. Skagway. Oh my goodness. 100 fall for flip's sake. Bunker mindset. Oh, that really sucks. If an enemy takes over an another enemy's tile that you're justifying on, then it just goes away, which really sucks, but let's get service outpost. In order to expand our operations farther and farther, we require secure facilities to store supplies and rest between expeditions. Establishing a construction core specifically for the purpose of building service fortifications would benefit us greatly, and let us let time go on. That's totally fine. We need time to build up a couple more doggos anyway. It's painted men, yinta. I do want to go to war eventually with the Heaven's Gate folk. I think that'd be probably a good thing to do. Probably. Any more divisions? Yes, thank you. Thank you. If that's the case, you guys can stop doing that. Train if you need to. You guys are perfect. Don't need to change you at all. Except uh, we need some more demo teams. That'd be nice. Hey, we can do it. Nice. We got those guys. Damage screening. I would like intercoms as well. I'm taking forever to do this, so let's do this. Briggs. Sales. Sales. Visual deck feeds. You know, these aren't great. Oh, these are, some of these are actually pretty good. But I'll probably make better ones later on. Naval Ram. That costs so much to do already. Uh, point de defense. Just because we can. Four mounted guns. Uh, anything else here? I haven't done really much at all. Let's reset that. That's kind of okay. That's a capital ship. And let's do this one. Even though these are pretty garbo. Definitely get some armor on them. Definitely throw some stuff on here. We don't have so much naval XP. That'll help. And then that'll help as well. Once we get, come on, research, research, research. 80 square one east port. Shouldn't take too long to make that or repair that one boat we got. Ah, come on. It's repairing right now, I can tell. Screw it, we'll just produce this garbage. Cool, thank you. And I'll do that. Thank you. And we'll do... Crasdale. Come to Crasdale as well. Nice. Oh my goodness, we need some water. I get, ah, thanks. Hello there, Timberline. If that's the case, build them up. Two factories. We'll build up some infrastructure later on if we need to. North Goober, come on, take them out, take them out. Oh, oh, hello, Western Brotherhood. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. North oh, come on, man. I want to go to war with him, too. I kind of wish the NCR and the Brotherhood would fight each other, but it is not going to happen. Legion seems to be struggling a little bit with the ranchers. They still have a good amount of manpower. You guys have 2,000. Could be worse. Could be much worse. And we've got enough political power for ourselves to core the Temple of the Gorgons. 11,000. Never enough, but that's actually very, very nice. And we've got some more water, too. It looks like maybe. Detection avoidance kit. Very cool. Anything else here? Yeah, go and grab that. And maybe we'll do some research stuff too. And by research, I mean fertilizer. Oh, there goes the rapids. Very nice. We should be able to go to war within a few months. Okay, 100 days. You guys, I can't even go to do you guys that well. They have a navy. Hmm. Mm hmm. We have a ship. One ship. 
Oh my god, why? Why do you have to come here to ruin my time? Underground workshop. So be it. Expanding our industrial base inside of our bunker network is our next priority. Setting up industry within a fortified positions will allow us to continue to create a respectable outpost, even while on back foot. Effectively creating a layer of industry that our enemies cannot take unless until the very end. Which is a good thing. Wrought iron manufacturing. Very good. Let's grab some more naval rams. Ah, slave time. We have almost a thousand, which is really good. Now, I want to go to war with these guys. It really doesn't make any sense for me to do so, but... We'll see what happens. Just look. Let's go ahead and go to war. They're going to probably maybe naval invade us, which is fine with me. I don't really care. Come on, beat back the Western Brotherhood. Oh, they're taking you over. Why? No! No! Evil peoples. We need more water. May 6th, Wild 1, October 18th. Yeah, that's going to take forever trying to, build it, trying to build up a navy. Ah, uh, why did you have to get in the way, people? Victorian chapter, why? Damage control, very cool. We still get... You know, let's, can we get some more stability? Mobilize the people. I want some more stability. Consumer tech. That's fine with me. That sounds good. Not bad. Build ourselves up a little more and more and more and more. Our defenses are online. We get a whole 10 fighters. Not bad. Not too bad. Train, 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 train. Oh, look. That does not look very good. And let us get some more consumer goods. Nice. Very good. Build up the industries, lower their autonomy, all that good stuff. Actually, 73% is it going up at all. Weekly change is what? Plus 1%. Very nice. Elite breakthrough tactics. Cool. A little bit more reliability. Hey, we got another ship. Cool. Oh, that's where Cryzilla. That's pretty far north. Holy cow. Meet up. 12,000 uh, manpower isn't bad. 121 divisions or 121 manpower per month. Vault City, I like that. Operative captured. We have ways of making you talk. But if we can make any more divisions, let us do so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, Western Brotherhood, you're very, very annoying. Not gonna lie. It is May 26th. Let us go to October. Wow, that takes forever to produce. Technological breakthrough, though. Our scribes have made a series of significant scientific discoveries in rapid succession, broadening our horizons and impacting all of our current research projects from the ground up. This is truly incredible, as these teachings will allow us to pursue art research and restoration projects much faster than ever before, but that's probably where we're going to leave today's episode. What have we done? We've marched north to Alaska, the Pacific Northwest. We shall finish this area up, hopefully, in the next episode. And I'm, I'm thinking... We might just go to war with Heaven's Gate next time, as well as maybe even the Nevada Pact, or probably the Western Brotherhood. But regardless, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like, perhaps subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow, as we have a good time waging war against mutants and their ilk. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.